Okay, now let's first define the deficit of balance of payment. The deficit of balance of payment actually means that actually represents the excess supply of domestic currency. It also means that uh, domestic currency is losing its value. Domestic currency is losing its value. It is also mean that uh, government is buying its own currency. Government is buying its own currency or government is selling foreign reserves foreign currency reserves all these things represent represent the same idea that is the deficit of balance of payment excess supply of domestic currency domestic currency is losing its value government is buying its own currency or government is selling foreign currency reserves on the other side surplus of balance of payment definitely would mean excess demand of domestic currency or domestic currency is uh, appreciating in, in its value or government is selling its own currency or government is buying foreign currency reserves or foreign currency reserves of the government is increasing so this is these are few definitions of deficit and balance of payment but if you analyzed all these ideas are related with the deficit or surplus of current account because the excess supply of domestic currency means that you are importing more than what you are exporting imports would result in outflow of funds and exports would result in inflow of domestic currency now if the outflow of domestic currency is greater than the inflow of domestic currency it simply means that supply of domestic in uh, currency in the inter international market is greater than the demand of international currency so whenever there is an excess supply of anything in the market its value starts decreasing so this is the same idea here that excess supply of domestic currency will give rise to reduction in uh, the value of domestic currency now if the country is operating in floating exchange rate regime then government cannot intervene in this situation and government has to uh, allow uh, its currency to devalue but if the the country is falling or country is operating in fixed exchange rate regime it would be the duty or it would be an obligation of of the government to to maintain this uh, to maintain the f the exchange rate between currencies and uh, and and take actions to stop this depreciation of 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 the currency value now how how government can uh, protect its currency from being devalued one of the most common uh, method used by the government is to to reduce this excess supply of of uh, domestic currency in the international market how government can do that government can buy its own currency from the international market but for this government needs a strong reserves government may have reserves in the form of gold or maybe in the form of foreign currencies government can use these reserves and sell them and buy its own currency from uh, from the international market this will reduce the excess supply of domestic currency in the market so let's let's record this transaction if government if the government uh, buys its own currency from the international market and sells the foreign uh, currency reserves so how to record this in this case definitely government is uh, exporting the foreign reserves maybe gold maybe foreign currencies and importing uh, its domestic currency so exports of uh, this fourth transaction would be export of what you are exporting you are exporting foreign currency reserves uh, which or or maybe or maybe gold whatever 
gold or maybe SDRs, special drawing rights, whatever. So government is exporting its 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 reserve. Government is utilizing its reserves, and this would be recorded in on the credit side. Let's take an example. Government do this uh, equal to the value of say um, say um, three thousand three thousand rupee. It's three thousand on the credit, and government will import the domestic currency here. Import importing bank account, which is Pakistani rupee three thousand, and would be recorded on the debit side as negative three thousand. Now after this transaction observe the balances on individual accounts of balance of payment current account still has a deficit of 11200 there is no effect of this transaction on the the balance the de uh, on on the deficit of current account but there is an effect on the the, the surplus of current or uh, surplus of capital account the capital and financial account shows a surplus of 8200 and foreign reserves account show shows a surplus of 3000 now the balance of payment as a whole is balanced and the total of debit transactions equal to 65,133 and same is the balance on the credit side. Now the most important lesson we can get from this transaction or from this demonstration is that the deficit of current account actually represents the excess supply of its of of domestic currency the government has bought its own currency from the international market and controlled or reduced the the supply of uh, the excess supply of domestic currency to to help the foreign exchange rate to be maintained at the desired level but government cannot affect its its current account deficit government can only change or influence the excess supply or excess demand of domestic currency in the international market so the the current account actually represents uh, the excess supply or excess demand uh, and uh, and guide and guides the government to take the right action if there is a deficit it represents the excess supply and if it if there is a surplus in current account it means that the domestic currency is in excess demand so the the deficit of current account does not mean mean that uh, the economy is going down or there is uh, there is something negative actually it is an indication it represents the idea which is uh, whether the supply of domestic currency is high or the demand of domestic currency is high so the government can intervene in case it is a fixed exchange rate regime government can control the demand and supply by buying or selling the foreign currency reserves second important thing is that if the country is operating in fixed uh, in floating exchange rate regime in that case government cannot intervene in the international monetary market and this the deficit in current account would be balanced with the surplus in capital account but if there is uh, floating exchange rate uh, fixed exchange rate regime in that case uh, the deficit in current account would be balanced with the surpluses in capital and foreign reserves account so this is a short explanation how to record transactions in in balance of payment account and what do we mean by surplus or deficit of balance of payment so the surplus or deficit of balance of payment actually means the surplus or deficit of current account and it represents the idea of uh, of excess supply of domestic currency in case of deficit and it gives government an idea uh, about uh, the right action which should be taken to control the exchange rate uh, of its currency with other international currencies so hope this will help you in understanding uh, the surplus or deficit of uh, balance of payment and how to record transactions in balance of payment account and double entry bookkeeping conventions
followed by the balance of payment accounting system thank you for your time